everyone, Joanna Wilson here and welcome back to the Just Work Tutoring channel and my vlogs whilst I'm away travelling. I'm currently in Thailand in a hostel room and I'm going to be chatting today on this video about tips for students if their schools have closed down due to COVID-19 or coronavirus. <laughs> Just work children. I've been getting a lot of messages recently from students that are in a bit of a panic as their school has been closed for the foreseeable future and they're not too sure what to be doing about their studies. So I've got six tips that I'm going to be talking about in this video to hopefully help those students who are in a bit of a limbo at the minute. So first and foremost, tip number one is to communicate with your school. It's really, really important that you know how long these things are going to last, what the plans are, whether exams are still going to go ahead. And the best thing you can do is communicate with your school and also listen to government guidelines regarding those things. We are very early in the process at the minute, so it does mean that things can be changing quite rapidly and we've still got a bit of time till those exams. So having that communication with your school is going to be key for what's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. Tip number two is to take initiative. It might seem like a big woohoo that school is closed, but if it's gonna be reopening in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, we are still gonna have to sit those exams and we are still gonna have to be cracking on with coursework, revision and all that stuff. It's down to you to take initiative as soon as you can and get cracking with the things that you should be doing in this time off. Acknowledging where we're at and acknowledging what we've got to do in this time off is a big deal. Tip number three is to use your time wisely. So this could actually be a really good period of time for you to get everything sorted, to get all your notes done, to get all your revision materials set up. It's actually, you can click pause on school and the things that you learn and that ever going on system where you don't feel like you have the time to do those little things that you've just been meaning to do. Use this time and write a full list of all those things and start to tick them off. This is a brilliant time for you to get everything clear in your mind and in your revision so that when you go back and when exam time comes around, you are prepared. <laughs> tip number four, as always, in a tip section for myself, practice, practice, practice exam questions. These are the things that are going to get you used to exactly what examiners are looking for. And the more you practice on those topics that you've already learnt, the way further ahead you're going to be and the way less weight you'll have on your shoulders when you get back. So those are the things that you can be doing in the current time frame. We're going over, we're using our time wisely, we're making those revision materials and we're practicing papers from things that we've already learnt. The last two tips are on moving forward in the future. So tip five is read ahead. You've got revision guides. You've probably got access to your teachers through email. Ask them for resources. Ask them for the things that they were going to be doing over the next couple of weeks and get yourself prepped. Even if it's not full understanding, get yourself prepped and reading ahead for those upcoming lessons and upcoming topics that you may not have time to cover when you go back to school. And tip number six, I would say for anyone out there who's struggling with a particular subject, you might need that little bit extra support, look into getting a tutor. This is a perfect time for you to spend hours or spend a little bit of time getting that expertise please contact me using the form below if you'd like to or you'd be interested in tutoring for myself or someone on the just work team but having that little bit of extra support can be really really beneficial for these next couple of weeks when you are off school tutoring is not something that you have to sign up for months and months and months you can have one-off sessions you can have one session a week until your school reopens or you can have as many sessions as you like so yeah please bear in mind tutoring if there are particular areas that need a little bit tweaking or if there's something that you might be struggling with 
So there we have it. Those are my six tips for anyone who's dealing with a school closure due to COVID-19. Please hit me up if you need any personal support and I'd be more than willing to give you it over this time. I know it can be quite uh, up in the air time for a lot of people. So speak to your parents and get them to contact me or contact me directly. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible if you just work. Bye!